guys welcome back to the channel um, I know it's been a minute since uh, since I filmed a video but I know it's been a minute since I filmed a video the Indiana deer season's been ungodly slow uh, so today is the day after Thanksgiving and I'm in rock cast I'm in rock castle Kentucky and I uh, I just met up with um, JR from Genesis 27.3 Outdoors. So we're on our way to uh, the lake, is what he said. We're going to go hunt there, and then we're going to hunt all day tomorrow. Uh, we're going to load up. We're, we're going to meet some guy named Aaron, and then uh, we're going to load up in this boat, and we're going to go hunt. It's going to be extremely interesting. So, I don't know, about five or six weeks ago, I think it was, when I shot that doe um, up in Indiana, where I shot her in the leg and I lost her. And I saw one buck uh, the day before opening day of firearm. I haven't seen anything since. So right now, um, I'm following JR um, to the lake. So when we get back down there and we start to get loaded up, um, I'll get back with you. So we're down here at the lake. We just got everything loaded up in the boat. All right, and we got the we got the boat in the water. His buddy, his buddy Aaron's up there. He's getting ready to put his boat in the water as well. Um, JR is taking the truck back up. He's going to jump back down in here and off we go. Um, I'm not entirely sure where we're going. Um, I've never been down here before. I'm just kind of along for the ride. I told him, uh, pick a tree and tell me to climb it and we'll see what happens. So hopefully we'll get some, uh, get some dough to come out tonight or something. It'd be pretty awesome. There he's putting his boat in the water right now. Alright, I'll get back with you soon. So about to where we're heading at. Uh, you're not, we're not going far. Uh, you're going to be right over here, down there. Uh, this point, the center of it's like a big, huge bedding area. And uh, there's there's quite a few in there right now at the moment. Uh, and so what we're going to do is put you where, in one spot where they can go out of it, and I'm going to be on the other uh, spot where they can go out of it. And if they leave it and don't come by us, that means they went across that field, which I doubt, I highly doubt they'll do, but uh, it's gonna be a, a pretty good hunt, I think. I was talking about putting over there, over there's where I shot them, th uh, them three does last year, the two, two and 39 seconds, and the, the yeah. other one is over there. Uh, I just don't, I, I, I just don't, I feel more confident there's more deer right in here than Hopefully we'll see one. Yeah. Like I said, I'm just I'll be super stoked to even see one. Yeah. All right. So I just got set up in this tree. I'm kind of. You can still kind of see the lake right over there. There's like a 300 yard buffer all the way around this lake. Um, I'm set up in this really funky tree. Uh, I got my backpack hanging real weird over here. My bow's hanging weird. <laughs> my camera's up weird. Uh, but we got this little clearing. Got this little clearing right out, in, right out here in front of me, so hopefully something will come wandering through. We got about four hours, so we're just gonna hang tight and kind of see what happens. My wind's blowing right out over the lake. I'm not expecting the deer to come from this direction or from that direction. And I've got this big, wide open shooting lane. And I've just got nothing but these pines behind me, so it's about 3.15. Hopefully something will come wandering by here soon. Hey, what's going on, fellow hunters? It is uh, about 5.30 in the morning, I think. And we're heading back out here, uh, back on the lake again for day two. We're going to hunt all day, so I've got JR behind me back there. He's the one man in the boat. I think we're getting relatively close to where we're going to kind of dip off into the woods. So hopefully here in, a, in about an hour and a half when the sun comes up, hopefully something will happen. Uh, it's day two of being down here in Kentucky with JR. If you haven't checked his channel out, go ahead and go check it out. I'll put a link up here. So I don't know 
know if it's opening day at duck season or what's going on down here, but there is duck hunters everywhere. I've got a couple of them probably 100 yards behind me. I'm only 50 yards off the water's edge. Kind of the way this property set up is it's a big lake. There's like a 300 yard buffer all the way around it. I'm at a place that uh, JR calls the T intersection. And uh, I mean, it looks pretty, pretty wide open and nice out here. If I'm gonna get a chance to get some footage of some deer, this is definitely gonna be the place. I got a scrape right down below me, probably 15 yards away. And then he's got a camera that looks down one leg of this T. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll pan around a little bit and kind of show you what it looks like out here. We're, we're getting way back in here. Yeah. I, I, when I said we're going back here as far as we can go, yeah, you were, joking. Yeah, I'm you were going lying. a little further than, than you're going, but you're going pretty close to me. I don't know that we are slowing down a little bit. I'm on five. When uh, when did you say they built this lake? I think it's somewhere between 10 and 15 years ago. It's just trees sticking up out everywhere. So JR took us all the way to the end of this um, end of this lake, and then followed this creek all the way down. We had stopped a couple hundred yards around the corner, but I just wasn't feeling that spot. So we just kept coming down this way and there's a real nice creek crossing here with some tracks um, coming up onto this side. He's probably 150 yards behind me at that. He's kind of around the corner of the creek. Hopefully something will come crossing right here or come moving around right over here. Uh, so this is going to be my last hunt um, for this Kentucky trip. I'm not entirely sure yet, but it may be my last Kentucky trip for 2021. I've really enjoyed coming down here and uh, getting to experience hunting in a different state. And then on this trip in particular, um, JR and his wife, their hospitality has been amazing. They let me come down here and stay at the place. You know, I'm pretty much a stranger. I've only met him about three times. So JR, I really appreciate that. Tell your wife I said thank you for the hospitality. So we've got about three and a half hours almost. And then it'll probably take us a good hour to get out of here. Uh, as soon as I hit the van, though, I'm going to book it home. And that's going to be the end of the Kentucky trip. So hopefully, hopefully something's going to happen. I'm, I'm wanting some deer footage really, really bad. I mean, of course, I'd like to shoot one as well. But I really want to film one. Wind's starting to pick up. It's hitting me in the back. It's definitely not ideal for where I'm at. I'll go ahead and turn the main cam on. And I'll kind of show you this creek crossing. We're gonna we're gonna sit still and we're gonna be quiet and hope something happens as always.
Mark. So I'm sitting here editing this video. I'm going to go ahead and insert a clip, and it is um, JR with the same buck. And this happened, I don't know, probably five minutes before I had my encounter with him. Um, so kind of what happened was uh, he came by JR and then he went up and around the hill and he came back down towards me. So I'm going to insert the clip here. Well, we uh, we hunted yesterday evening, today, 
and we did manage to see a buck. That was a pretty big one. Yeah, and and uh, hopefully we got. He he knows he's got footage of it, and I got at least the footage from my GoPro above me uh, with it in. So um, we both got a little bit of footage in it, of this buck, and uh, I reckon you won't be coming down anymore this year, will you? I don't know. If if I do, it'll be like late season. Okay. Well, you we know, still got the January the seventeenth. That that um, that'd probably be because. Yeah, next time I'd be able to come down probably somewhere. It, it may be, uh, we do do Christmas shutdown though too, so maybe end of December, early January. Okay, but. so yeah, oh well, uh, then we'll be back on them again then. Oh yeah. If you come down, uh, I, like I said, I'm after that 10 back there, so. Um, yeah, that was one of the biggest bucks I've ever seen. That's, yeah. uh, I saw one last year that was probably equally as big, but uh, it was a pretty big buck. Yeah, them we grow them big in Kentucky, yeah. which I've seen some big. Except, in, except I've the seen does some, up in Curtis Lloyd, man. All them, they, they, there was a bunch of fawns running around. Or all them does up there are small. <laughs> yeah, but I've seen some big buck, um, big bucks come out of Indiana too. Oh yeah, yeah. There, so there's some big monsters. So up there. I, I look forward to maybe next year coming up there. Yeah, I have to definitely get things squared away so we got a good spot to hunt. Um, well, uh, I don't care if we have to go hunt a spot in public. Mm -hmm. Bring it, bring me, bring the boat up. And I'm yeah, sure there's but, some, some got to be something sort of like this up there, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, Brookville, which, Brookville Lake, Brookville Lake is pretty much identical. I think it's got yeah. about the same kind of buffer all the way around. Yeah, uh, I like hunting. I like hunting lakes. Yeah, that that'd be a good one. It's when about you, an hour from the house. When you get 51 years old, it ain't nothing like dragging it downhill to the boat. Yeah, <laughs> a lot better than walking two and a half miles in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But uh, I've enjoyed it, brother. Yep. And uh, I got about three and a half hours drive. So. Yeah. And it, uh, any y'all, uh, if you ain't done subscribe to the hunter, I'm gonna put a link in the um, the description and go ahead and subscribe to Jacob. He's Likewise, right? If you haven't subscribed to Genesis Twenty Seven Three Outdoors, make sure you do so. Yeah. But I reckon I'll let you head back up there to Indiana, and I'm gonna go home and. Eat, probably eat some leftover turkey. Yep, sounds good. <laughs> All right, later.